Hello friends, welcome back to She's In Her Apron. Today I'm going to be rotating my food storage room and checking to see what I need for the latest case log sales. I stock when needed. So here in Utah, they do twice a year, two really big case lot sales. Not all these sales are a good deal. You gotta price match your stores in the area and see if they're any good. When you see something at a low price point for you, that's when you stock up. So let's say your store was having a great deal on Great Northern Beans. What recipes do you use for Great Northern Beans? We have a ton of recipes that we use these for. So if I wanna make a couple of those recipes, let's say twice a month, I need to add how many cans for each recipe, and then maybe if I wanna stock up for three months, do the multiplication, and that's how many cans you're gonna to need to have on hand to feed your family. And when I see a sale during the year, I'll go and grab a couple of more cans. I don't always wait for the case slot sale. If you'd actually like to see a whole year of when is a good time to stock up on what, I have a whole playlist for you down in the description below. Watch me as I rotate things in, I'm gonna make a list of what I want to look at at the case lot sale, do a little homework, and then we'll hit the store. Did you know that in September is a good time to stock up on cereals? Cereal goes on sale. I mean, cereal's always on sale, but it goes on sale like in September. And there's always coupons. So have coupons ready to go for your cereal. I have plenty right here, crackers, brisk, I'm gonna restock up my cracker bin. These are what I have left, so I am not going to grab any new ones until I see one of the bulk stores have a sale on these. We've slowed our roll on the ramen because honestly, it's not good for you. I've been replacing these cartons as we go. We've used up quite a bit and I bought a new box, um, I think at Costco not too long ago, put the newer box in the back and I am just moving these up front. If you do canned or box chicken stock and you want to stock up, seriously wait for the holidays and see what prices are going on. So the top part is always the ones that we have to use first and the bottom can wait. So this needs to get used up first. And yes, I love using bouillon. It's actually cheaper if you do that, but I love the convenience of canned stock. Okay, someone stole one from the bottom here. What are they, crazy? Don't they know we have a system? These are gonna get used up really quickly now that we are we're getting into the fall and we go through our fall recipes and we go through a lot of stock. All right, we're good on broths. I don't need any broths for from that case lot sale. Here's better than bouillon. Um, I don't mind it, but you have to keep it in the fridge. It's only good for so long. I'd rather use the powdered seasoning. Okay, we don't need tomato soup. We're going through it at a good pace. Um, I use tomato soup for our shepherd's pie, and we love opening up a can of tomato soup, mixing milk, put fresh basil in it, so good. So we are good there. And we don't need cream or mushroom soup. And I'm gonna be sharing a video with you very soon that I'm working on, on how to make your own cream soups using your powdered milk. And then I won't have to buy it as much because we're gonna to learn to make it on our own without running out and buying a can, so stay tuned. Okay, I have a few cans of cream of chicken. It's not something I like. I don't know what it is about me and cream of chicken soup. No idea, no idea. These onion soup mix packets are going more into our rotation than they already are because I just now have a homemade recipe that is delicious. So I won't have to be buying these. So that is fantastic. I do wanna buy some more Progresso soup. Derek likes opening these up, sometimes just for a quick meal. I think these are on sale at Macy's at a good price. So we'll check and we can grab some more of these. All right, here is our ketchup. I know, this, this is a lot of, are you seeing this? This is a lot of ketchup. But in my family, it's like milk, bread, eggs, ketchup. We need to make sure that our dates are this way. This is 4 2 23 
three, six, ten, twenty-three. Yeah, that goes in the back. That goes in the back. Uh, I don't need ketchup for a while. I have these big guys. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is fine. When I get down to four bottles, I will wait for a sale and snag some more. Tomato paste is something that always takes a little longer to go through. We go through seasons of that, but we are entering the season of major tomato paste using. These Cento tomatoes I use for my Italian gravy. I use four at a time. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Because the packages come in odd numbers of three. Ugh, I hate that. I've got tomato sauce here and one more on the other shelf. We're good. Same with our crushed tomatoes. We're doing good there. Really use a lot of crushed tomatoes when I make my pizza sauce. It is so good. It's Derek's uncle Rudy's pizza sauce. I'll leave a link below you guys. It's so easy to make. It's so flavorful. Make your own pizza sauce. Okay, I am really good on pasta. I have shells, manicotti, and lasagna, and I'm gonna be making some freezer meals with these like in the next week, so I'm so excited. Gotta fill my freezer again with freezer meals. We have mac and cheese here. We are, we go through seasons of mac and cheese, honestly. We got this at a really good deal um, at the last case hot sale, so we um, were actually whittling down, if you believe it or not. So we're good on mac and cheese. In here I have some gluten-free pasta. I deal with inflammation. I have some gluten-free pastas now. Lots of penne, elbow macaroni, and like rigatoni, good old spaghetti, and I have boxes of gluten-free spaghetti as well. So we're good on pasta. I'm gonna check out at the sale some jarred sauce. I make my own gravy, but it's so much easy for the kids to, uh, how this get here? Um, grab jarred spaghetti sauce. How oh, did you see? That's not supposed to be there. What is happening? I don't think the sale that they're having on the pasta sauce is anything to run out and go like crazy and stuck up, stock up on. So there's a good chance, I'll go check and see. I could be wrong. It could be a good price, but I just have a feeling it's not, and I won't be stocking up on it. And you're probably thinking, how do, how do you know your price point? You're gonna have to keep an eye on the sales, the prices in your area. Now, I kind of thought people naturally do that, but no, I taught a food storage, like building your pantry class a couple of months ago, and I was so surprised where no one really pays attention to some of the prices of the stores in their area. So I'm working on a price book. Um, this is just a rough draft. It's not gonna look like this, but this is the rough draft. I'm still tweaking it, it's not ready. But you're gonna be able to track at your stores the prices that you're seeing, um, like the normal prices, not sale prices. That way, when there is a sale, you can go, oh my goodness, yep, snagging it. The way that you can track your prices in your area is like when I'm out and about, I'll take my camera and I'll snap a picture of the prices and put them in a folder on my phone. That way I know the date that it was taken at that store and I could track the prices. And so when I am price comparing at other stores, looking at the flyers, looking online, I can look and see but it's so annoying to go onto my phone so that's why I'm creating a price book for you guys you'll be able to print it out as well so know your price point I've been doing this for a long time probably 10 years and it all started when I started couponing and I kept an eye on sales it's second nature to me we have moved into the spicy section so I stock up on the Las Palmas green chili enchilada sauce. We are green chili enchilada sauce people. What are you guys? I would love to know. We like to do um, enchiladas for dinner. We love enchiladas and we love um, making them as a freezer meal. So I'm just making sure that the newer ones with the date that's closest up front. One of these makes a whole casserole pan of enchiladas for our family. Now I have more than I usually keep on my shelf because that sale was so good. Why wouldn't I buy it, right? So now I have two, four, six, eight. We can have enchiladas eight times. If we end up having enchiladas once a month, these cans will last eight months, right? But I'll be making some freezer meals and I will be 
it, we're getting into the season where we eat it more. So honestly, if we have it twice a month, that's one, two, three, four. So I've got enchilada sauce for the next four months. If you guys see what I'm doing? So that way, when we wanna have enchiladas, we shop our shelves where we had saved money and bought the item on sale. And when we shop our pantry, we're actually still getting that sale price saves you so much money. We're good on salsa. We have a few slow cooker salsa recipes. So we are good in that department. So we'll put the salsa in the back. So here we have our diced chilies and jalapenos. So this is our diced green chilies. Do you guys go through a lot of chilies? We do. Oh my gosh, there's so many recipes that we use in it. It's crazy. Oh, this is jalapeno. See, I hate when stores have the same looking label. This one is jalapenos and this one is chilies. And I've grabbed the wrong one before and that's not fun. The last case lot sale, I had another rack here and that's how much we've gone through. And I did pick up another one during that case lot sale last time. So I don't need to pick up any more diced green chilies for this case lot sale. So I'm not even gonna open these, this on top of that and put it right there. And then we have our jalapenos here. We have all our jars of like pepperoncini. We love this in our Mississippi pot roast. What's the other one? Oh, the Mississippi chicken. And we have a few other like roast recipes that we use all of the pepperoncinis in. We are good on canned potatoes and carrots. Remember the, I was testing out those, I think the last case lot sale and we're enjoying them. I've been putting them in some soups and stews. We don't need to buy any of those. When I am shopping my pantry, making meals for the week, this is where I'm going to. And I go to my freezer and then we assign the recipes and we're good to go. Now I do keep inventory of all this and they're inventory sheets from Valerie over at the foodstorageorganizer.com. Oh my gosh. And she has on there where you can print uh, printables to help you track what you have. And I like using it for my longer food storage, long-term food storage. Um, I just rotate through, through this so fast that it's harder to track. So I like using those sheets for that. I actually have a video on me taking inventory. I did it on the short term and it's just harder to track, but I love keeping track of my long term. I did pick up some sliced olives. I love olives. <laughs> And so I've been on an olive kick lately. So these are mine. As we're doing this, I'm literally meal planning in my head for the next few weeks. I'm like, mm-hmm, yep, yep, mental note, mental note. But these are the recipes that we always have. So it's always on the forefront of my brain, so. This is our mandarin oranges. And I thought I had four cans left, but I actually have more than one, two, three, four, five cans. So I'm definitely gonna be getting mandarin oranges at the case lot sale. Slice, pears, we're good. We have this whole palette of 24 and more back there. And then here we have peaches. We are good on pears and peaches. We like to have these with different dessert recipes, um, with cottage cheese. Pineapple I use in a lot of recipes, a lot of slow cooker recipes and things. Here's cranberry sauce. We don't need any for the holiday season. I've got because I, I think this was a box from Costco or Sam's Club that I bought last year um, during the holidays and they still got a long road to go. So I have five cranberry sauces. Now we just don't use them for like turkey dinners and stuff like that. I have a few slow cooker recipes that call for them. So that's why I always have cranberry sauce. Um, we like to use pineapple chunks and pineapple tidbits. I have one pineapple tidbit here. And then this was the box that I opened up like a month or two ago on camera with you guys. I can't remember. I'm gonna look at the price at the case lot sale, see what they got going on, and then um, stock up. Yep, and I'll make room for my tidbits right here. And this section here is applesauce, and I won't be purchasing that. For September, stock up on your apples. September, October, truckloads of apples start coming in and you can get them at your farmer's markets and your stands and stuff that you'd see in town. So grab some apples, you can dehydrate them. I do have a dehydrator, I also have a freeze dryer. Um, I used to dehydrate apples almost every year. I haven't done that in a long time. I like 
to make applesauce. I haven't canned it yet, but just regular applesauce to eat. Doing that in the slow cooker. I also love making apple pie filling, round apple pie filling so it fits in your pie pan frozen. Make cider in the slow cooker. Oh, that's coming up. It's so good. Right now is a great time to stock up on apples. Oh, onions. Grab your onions. You're going to see onions galore so it's a good time to have onions if you dehydrate your onions you could actually grind them up and make onion powder it's a good time to stock up on avocados you could freeze those you can cube them up put some lemon juice or lime juice on them get them put them down on a baking sheet put them in your freezer get them individually frozen then put them in a container or ziploc bag or food saver bag put them in your freezer then you have avocados for later in the year and then of course it's September so back to school time you're gonna see deals again on cereal um, freezer breakfast food items like waffles uh, French toast pancakes last case slot sale I stocked up on refried beans and we do go through them we go through a couple of cans every two weeks and then I have another box so we're good to go. I love making refried beans, like from pinto beans in my slow cooker. I filmed that quite a while for, for you guys, but I haven't shared it yet. I'll share it soon in a video, um, my next food preservation video, uh, video for you. It's so easy to do in your slow cooker or your instant pot. Make your own refried beans, they're good. But like I said, I'm all about convenience, and so it's nice to have the canned stuff. All right, so we have black beans. We have quite a bit of recipes for this, especially our taco soup, we go through it like crazy so this bushes baked beans i think we got from either costco or sam's club these need to get used up first we're good here on black beans and i don't think oh i do i have a whole nother bin on the top shelf in fact we could probably bring those down we're gonna do this right here is that other layer of refried beans we're good to go there these are great northern beans i want this black bean right here so these are the last of my kidney beans but I do want to check the sale price with the case slot sale, see if it's any good because this is when we start using the bulk of our kidney beans. And then these are pinto. I don't think I need to bring those down. I think we've got plenty on the shelf. But right now I want these black ones down. These ones we need to use first, but I'm going to put them down here for right now. And I think these black beans have the same date as the other ones, December 2023, December 2024. Nice. No wonder why they were on the top shelf. Oh yeah. Okay, so this right here is the last three of this layer that are the 2023. So I'm going to move this out as well. 24, and these are all 24. So I'm going to rotate these forward. And then I'll bring this one. Oh, come on. Muscles. Oh, this is a workout. Working with canned goods is no joke. Okay. So now we've got these two that are both the end of 2024, okay? End of 2024, we don't need to worry about those. So these other ones that need to be used up sooner, these ones can be moved up here uh, to be used first. And then we'll move to the back. That's how you do that. These are great northern beans. And this box should have the same date, yep, as these. Very good. I have a box of pinto beans back there. Can you see that? And this one is Kroger. So I got these at Smith's. December of 2024, May of 22, May of 22. These get used first. It doesn't mean they're bad, you guys. That's the best by date. They've got years on those puppies, okay? Years. So we're good on pinto beans. My concern, so if kidney beans are not priced good, then I probably won't have to worry about getting more kidney beans. These are good till November of 23, and then these kidney be beans are December, end of December 2024. Here we have garbanzo beans, and then lentils. I only have a couple of lentils, but they're dated so that they'll rotate this way. So we'll keep using and these will get pushed back and then moved out this way. And these are buttered beans for our Boston baked beans. I'll move this out of the way. Then we have more buttered beans. Okay, Smith's had like an amazing deal on buttered beans. And you know I took advantage of that. Oh, yes I did. And I got them for 99 cents a can. Yeah, you bet I stocked up. I think I grabbed eight on that one. Uh, I have bushes, 
baked beans in a box back here and then I have these beans in tomato sauce. This whole box has to be used first before we could touch those beans. Those will stay back there. Then up here I have the big guys. These are good to the end of next year. So when I do Boston baked beans for our family, we will be using these first with our buttered beans, our kidney beans, and our great northern beans that go into that recipe. And then I'll use those. It helps with all those sales that I did see over the past four months and stocked up. Okay, so this is our pulled pork. Have you guys had this? Harvest Creek. We got this from Costco, so good. But we do need to get more canned beef. This one is Walmart's, but Costco's. I only think I have one more left. No, probably not. The Costco roast beef in a can, I think it's from the same brand, Harvest Creek. So good to have on hand. We've got canned pork, great for burritos. Oh my goodness. We only have two cans of Spam is a good shelf stable thing to have on hand. This is the last of the chicken from Sam's Club. This is more canned chicken, this is hash. We are going through our canned chicken more. We are definitely making use out of this more and more. And I've been sharing a lot of recipes with you on canned foods and making shelf stable meals. That has been fun and I'll be bringing more to you. July 2024, this rack needs to be used first. So I don't know why I opened up this one though. I don't understand why I did that. And this is turkey, that is really good. I wanna get the ham and try the ham. So we'll be adding the ham to that. So we have got plenty of canned chicken, canned turkey. We have this canned chicken here. We used up all our Costco chicken. The last I'm gonna share with you um, until we get over here is all of like the fish, the ocean. So we have lots of tuna. I've got two big pallets here of tons of cans of tuna. The date goes far. This one is November, the end of next year, end of 2023. Notice how they shrunk the cans of like chicken and tuna. This is four ounce. So these go until the end of next year. Well, the best by date. They have a long shelf life. We're good on tuna for a long time. We usually have tuna fish sandwiches on Sundays and then we do tuna pot pie. So here is all our clams. We love clams for our clam chowder recipe. I'll leave that down below for you guys. So I only stock up when the sale is freaking amazing and I just hit a sale, I don't know how many months ago. So we are good on clams. A store had a great sale on the tiny shrimp and this is what we use for our shrimp dip. So for the holidays this year, I am actually good. This section here, here we have our uh, French style green beans. I do wanna grab a couple or more cans of the French style. Here is our cut green beans. Uh, I don't, well, if I do buy any, it's only a couple of cans because I have some up here and right there and right here. But out of all the canned goods, the most we use is the canned corn and the canned green beans. We love it and we love seasoning them up. So we have that. The corn, I, if I buy corn, it's only a few cans of corn because I have it here and I have it right here. I do buy cream corn and that's right here and that's for corn chowder. I won't be buying any of that because I have enough creamed corn to finish out the year with how many times we have cream corn through the year. We are gonna end up making some freezer meals with the stuffing. So come the holidays, I'll be stocking up on stuffing. We're going through this. So for canned goods, I've got chicken broth and beef broth on backup right here waiting for us. I've got the backup of cream and mushroom soup and these have a very long shelf life. Yeah, these go to the end of 2024. So I don't need any cream soups and I'll be making our own cream soups so we are good. We are good in that department. We're good on peanut butter. I have peanut butter up there and I have peanut butter in this corner over here. We don't need peanut butter. I have jellies that will last us until probably next summer. I don't need to be buying that. Um, I have pickles. I have condiments for our potato salads. We have our marinades and dressings that get rolled into our rotation. Um, also on the sale, they have brown sugar and powdered sugar. I've got enough to even get us through the holidays. I won't be purchasing any of that. I have our oils. I have our honey. We are good in that department. So I got messaged on Instagram um, last night and 
I was blown away by what she said and I asked her if I could anonymously share what her message was to all of you and she said share away. So this is what she said to me last night. Gotta tell you, started watching you a couple of years ago, never had a pantry growing up, shopped every few days, no supplies. When you said you get enough to make a favorite meal like five times, it clicked. So I changed the way I shopped. We just survived a seven month unemployment and didn't hardly need any groceries. Thank you, you're a godsend, no. Um, but thank you. Um, hopefully can restock in October and be set for the winter. See you guys. <laughs> I'm so happy for her because this is why we do it. You know, we might not be hit with a natural disaster or all of a sudden food is off the shelves. But it's things like this. Things of loss of a job, a death in the family, where our whole, our world in our four corners of our home can change so fast. And then what do you do? Having something like this helps so much. And of course, I've been working on this for a long time and I have a, a set budget for it. And it's baby steps. Pick your go-to meals. How many times do you want them a month? Then maybe stock up to have them for two weeks and have them on your shelf. So this is why I teach this and I fully, fully believe that it's a, a practice that we should all do. I love getting those comments. Please continue to share them with me. We, Derek and I love seeing those messages and we're just so proud of everyone and, and what you're doing and thank you for sharing with me. Let's go make my list of what I'm thinking of getting out. Well, we'll see. I'm doing my investigating on during the case log sale. Okay, here is my list. I'm looking for canned ham, canned turkey, mandarin oranges, pineapple tidbits, pasta sauce, kidney beans, and the Progresso soup. So here is their ad here. And I've gone, compared prices, even looked at Valerie's from foodstorageorganizer.com on her Instagram and compared. And I put down like the prices of the other store. So 55 cents for the corn or green beans is actually a really, really good deal. If you need tuna, that's a really good price on tuna. Um, so I've just been going in and, you know, circling what I'm looking at for visuals, wrote down the prices. The Progresso soup is $1.66 and uh, Walmart's is $2.19 and Smith's is $2.99. So that's a really good one. I, I wanna grab a couple. Um, Let's see here. The mandarin oranges, Smith's is $1.49 and Walmart's is $98. Um, theirs is $99, I'll just get it there instead of going to Walmart. And the pasta sauce, I'm still not excited about that price. So we'll see when we go into the store. That is the sale. And let's head out to the stores and see what we see. I actually have a couple of bags of the Bronze Chief Hard Red Wheat. And I got it at a better deal the beginning of the year. Right now it's $16.49 and I got my bag for $11.25. pounds. So it has definitely gone up. Here is the Hard White Wheat that they have. I did get the Red Wheat. So it is $16.49 for a 25 pound bag. We have big 20 pound bags of long grain white rice for $11.99 and black beans for $22.99 and pinto beans for $17.99. This is where I get my small bags of butter powder and country fresh instant milk. This is a great bag to try out and see how to use the butter powder, how to use, you know, instant milk. Um, so if you can find this in your area at a good price, experiment with these smaller bags before you um, get like a big number 10 can, see how you like it, try some recipes out. Um, right now it's on sale for, the butter is $6.59 and it's, it's not much of a sale, it's usually $6.99. So I do like to get these to try out, so. Little tip for you: try it out in smaller bags before you dive into the big cans. So at Walmart, you save a penny. They're 98 cents at Walmart, but I'm only gonna get um, one rack, so 12 cans. All right, it's always good to have cans of protein on your shelf. So this is smoked ham from Hormel. It's five ounces, and they're selling them for 75 cents each. 
So a case of 12 would be $9. And I pulled up my Walmart app. And it is actually $2.78 for this can. So that's an amazing deal. Okay, a tip for you, definitely check out the Best Buy date on the cans, just so you know that you can have a longer shelf life. So this is Best Buy December 28th, 2024. I'm looking for like the furthest date on the can. That doesn't mean we have to use it up by that date. That doesn't mean it's gonna spoil by then. They need to put a date on the can. This can extend years. I'm talking seven years and even longer. So, I, but I like to shop for a much further expiration date, well, not expiration date, Best Buy date. That's just how I do it. Well, the canned vegetables are 55 cents. Um, the Walmart brand vegetables are 58. So, not bad. Okay, it is a definite gamble shopping here for the K-Slot sale. I just ran into a viewer and she was saying that the store just down the street, it's a Kohler's and they sell the Food Club brand like Macy sells. Um, and she said that last year, their case hot sale, she found things cheaper there than here. And so I didn't do my homework on Kohler's. So I'm now I'm like, I'm gonna see if I can find their ad online. But I have to say, prices are definitely higher here than last time. You're definitely seeing inflation. But I am grabbing some things, but not like I would. So I'm gonna go see if Kohler's has it online and we'll do a little more digging. All right, I ran back into Megan and I said, hey, Kohler's ad is up on their website. So we're checking it out and seeing um, the price differences and they're just literally like a block or two up the road. So I'm going to see and then get what I can there versus here. So I'm gonna do a little more homework before I leave. Here and at Kohler's, they're 75 cents a can for the chicken broth and beef broth. Walmart, it is 72. But I'm not in a need to stock up on this at this moment. So what I'm going to do is wait till the Thanksgiving sales and see how much cheaper I can get it. So with this haul, I wanted to not go over $100 and I did just that. I stayed at $99, you guys. Yay. So what I got was the ham. And so they have 12 in here. So this is all the smoked ham. We're going to see what we think of it. And is it the most healthiest? Probably not. I like having it with our freeze dryer, but having the can quick to go, yay. I picked up six of the French style green beans and then six of the pineapple tidbits. And that will get us through in the holidays. We'll see what the sale prices are. And then six of the Progresso soups. So I got Derek um, beef pot roast with country vegetables, hearty chicken rotini, hearty chicken and rotini, beef and vegetable, and the chicken noodle. I don't think I'm pronouncing this right. Nutri store or Nutri store um, pulled pork. It is cooked in season. It is freeze dried, and the can was I want to say $49.99 and it beat out Amazon and Walmart. So I wanna try what theirs tastes like. We are freeze drying beef and chicken right now, but not pork. So uh, I definitely want to have some pork on the shelf and that beat out Thrive Life as well. And then I picked up six cans of whole corn. And so we don't need any more corn. I did grab some full olives. The olives that I have are sliced. So I grabbed four cans of those. Four is my number, as I told you. Um, I did pick up only two of the petite diced tomatoes, the Southwest style, with chilies, lime juice, and cilantro. Now this, these are the tomatoes that I needed for my pantry meal kit video. The last one I just did, the Mexican soup is so good. So I can make it two times um, with these cans. So. They were priced, I think, at 99 cents, so I only grabbed two. And then I grabbed a 12 pack of the mandarin oranges since they were just a penny more than Walmart and didn't want to go to Walmart. We did that. This was our $100 in budget food storage haul. And then we'll wait for the holidays, see where we're at, see what the sales are, and then stock up again. Well, friends, I'm hoping you're seeing the point of growing our stockpile of food storage, a three-month rotating pantry. I hope you're seeing 
how this can benefit you. So if you would like to learn how to start your three to six month rotating pantry and how you do it off the foods that you eat, your go-to meals, I'll leave that video for you right here. And my tips to help you shop like this, I'll leave that full video for you down here as well. So I hope this motivated you. I hope this maybe changed your thinking and get stocked up and use what you have. You shop your shelves first before you hit the stores. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you soon. Bye.